hey family so this video right here is going to be me telling y'all how the lord prophesied my ex's death so uh, last night the lord actually gave me a dream and before i get into the dream i'm gonna just tell you guys that if you are in the world come up out of the world especially if you are big on love and real love and true love because y'all you don't understand what these people do behind closed doors you don't know what people are really like just because they show you one thing just because they might act a certain way in front of you just because they don't have screenshots that directly prove that they're cheating none of that matters People are sneaky. And women, I'm going to be honest with you. Women are sneakier. Why? Because it's easier for a woman to cover up her lies. It really is. Um, like men, they do things more carelessly. And women are very... They're, they just think a lot more into things. Especially if they don't want to get caught slipping. Y'all, I'm going to get into this dream. And honestly, this dream just made me appreciate Jesus even more. Like, I mean, even though I already do, it's just like a whole nother level of thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for taking me up out of this world. Because I would have left that situation and probably got with another female that does the same thing, same sneakiness, all that. But y'all, I'm going to get into the dream. So in this dream, her aunt. Keep in mind, her and her aunt are both homosexual and they're both around the same age, right? So her aunt was showing me videos and I'm looking at the videos and it's a bunch of videos and pictures of her sleeping around my ex. So she was basically snitching and it was so many of them. I mean, I was like, yo, and as I'm looking at it, I was like, was this before or after we got together? And she tried to say, no, that was before, that was before. Y'all, after that, the scene switched. And she was in a car. Her aunt was in a car. And one of her females was in a car. So, y'all, they were drunk in a car. My ex fell asleep. And as she fell asleep, her aunt and this girl she was talking to started kissing. And then as my ex woke up, they stopped. And then they repeated. She fell asleep again, they started kissing. And it just kept happening, right? So it switched to another scene where my ex was not in the parameter of these people. Her ex, I mean her girlfriend and her aunt and they were just messing around when i woke up the lord said she was cheating on you that entire time so five years the whole time she was cheating i felt it there were times where i didn't even want to be in her face didn't know why there were times where i didn't want to do certain things didn't know why but i just knew it but then here she come with the oh there's no screenshots there's no proof and this this and that yo the signs, the signs, the signs of somebody cheating, accusing you when you're not doing nothing, accusing you about small little things that you might do or might say, and you know what's pure in your heart. You know you're not meaning anything by it, okay? You're not trying to disrespect that person, but they take everything disrespectful. They're accusing you. That's a sign, like a major sign. Another thing, if you feel it in your gut, if you feel it, they are. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, but yeah, so that happened. And then the Lord said she has to die. She has to die. Um, the thing is, y'all, she tried to make herself seem so loyal. If you're loyal, you don't have to keep saying, oh, I'm this and I'm that loyal. And I'm just, I'm just real like da 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 the actions will show it, okay? Um, but 
gonna just skip to what the other half means. So she brought a curse upon herself as far as people that she's gonna end up being with, everybody until the day that she passes is going to mistreat her, is going to abandon her, is going to cheat on her. That's what the Lord said. And it's going to be with people close to her. Like the Lord wants her to feel heartbreak. Now me, I ain't mad, I ain't upset, I ain't angry. I'm more disgusted about like, ew, like I'm surprised that you ain't catch nothing. For real, for real. The amount of people that I saw in my dream, I'm so surprised. But it's also like, I'm glad that I was a pillow princess. I am so happy that I did not really do nothing, really. And if you was a part of the LGBT community, you know what a pillow princess is. So, hey, that's what you want to do. Whatever it is, what it is. I upgraded expeditiously. <laughs> I upgraded increasingly i mean my ex jesus my ex g i mean you do the math so that's that um the lord also said that her and her aunt is nasty he said that they get drunk and they kiss each other that's what the lord said the lord also said that the whole time like when we would be together me and my ex and her aunt that the whole time her aunt was checking me out because she wanted me so yeah now this video is not about her aunt but this is what the lord told me and this is what happens when you are living a perverse lifestyle because really being perverted and i also explained to her in another dream because she was trying to say like perverted is when a uh, older guy touches a young little boy or little girl and y'all that is not what perverted means that's a part of it but perverse being perverted simply means going against whatever it was originated to be so the original intentions of marriage that god created and i explained this to her in a dream is man and woman coming together having kids bestiality the lord did not ordain it for a woman and an animal to be together so the Lord is saying, once you have that, like once you close your eyes to that, once you are in that perverted lifestyle, that means you don't have morals. There is no limit. There is no moral. There is no standard for you. So you'll be opening yourself to other things spiritually, whether you act on it or not, there will be different thoughts. Like in the dream, I also had a, in that same dream, actually, it just was a lot of switching in that same dream she was talking to me about a girl she was messing with before me and she showed me a picture of her and i was like she's like five years old and she was like no she's 16 i mean she's underage but da, 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 da. and that just goes to show like once you are perverted there is no limit i'm not saying for everybody but a lot of people that live that lifestyle you think certain things that you really should not be thinking about so that just says a lot but yes the lord did say she has to die she's gonna burn in hell simply for the fact that she the lord knows that she's not going to submit to him the lord knows she's not gonna repent the lord knows she's gonna live that lifestyle until she dies because he knows everything so it's not me damning people she damned herself and the lord's giving me the message to give away to people now when all of this stuff transpires people are gonna understand that everything i say is true I mean, it's already happening and it's going to continue to happen. And the Lord said, even with this, you're about to see, you're about to see this and everybody's about to see and everything will be reported on my channel. Whether you understand my ministry or not, those who will, those who receive it will understand that this is not a game, will understand that homosexuality is something that the Lord disgraces. He does not approve of that lifestyle. That was not what he ordained from the beginning of times. So even though you might hear that saying Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, or, or whatever the case may be, it might be cliche or whatever you want to call it, but that's the thing that I said in the dream to her as well, that that's what God ordained. If he wanted it to be any different, he would have did that, okay? Too many people pick and choose what they believe in the word of God. 
they don't take the word and say, you know what? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. So that fact alone is like, look, if you don't even believe that the entire word of God is God himself speaking, you are already making yourself null and void from that moment. Or you are already coming into agreement with the world. You made up your mind. This Bible has nothing to do with the Lord. And that is a lie from the enemy. I just got to add this in a video too. So I heard my ex in the spirit saying, and look, this is how people go and know it's true. The Lord just be listening to y'all conversations, put it right here to be like, oh, she did say that. Oh, he did say this. Because I hear that too. But anyway, the Lord said that she thinks it's funny, right? And the Lord said that she said she had the proof. She saw the proof. So, yeah, everyone that heard her say this is going to understand this is true, right? I'm not just going to lie about one thing, make up that, and then tell the truth about it. No, you know, you know, now you know. But anyway, so the thing about this is that she showed me proof, right? Because I was going to break up with her. I left to I left to Georgia and everything. Like I was done. And it wasn't even for this. But she was like, no, look, I want to show you how honest I am. This is all the people that I talked to, but we never did anything. She hit them all up. They all said they never did nothing. And I just felt in my gut, like I felt sick to my stomach. And I was the Holy Spirit because I left that situation, went to Georgia, started to go more into the Lord, you know, and just become more like him, right? So when she came and she started explaining all this stuff, I started feeling sick. She started feeling sick. That's the power of God. I'm like, why is she feeling sick? It was her, not me. I'm sorry, scratch that. She started feeling sick while she's saying it. And I started feeling in my like spirit that Nyla, pay attention to how she's moving. She can't even lie in your face. She feels sick to her stomach. She's like crawled up, literally. That's the power of the Lord. She's trying to lie with a straight face. Mind you, she's curled up like, oh, I feel so sick. Like, because the Lord was telling me those demons in her can't take your power right now because you've been pressing into me. That's what happens. So she's doing all that and I did not go with the spirit. Y'all trust your Holy Spirit. Go pray. Go pray about whether or not your man or woman is cheating on you or doing anything behind your back. Go pray about it. Spend some time with the Lord. Maybe fast about it. Maybe I got to do a video about how powerful fasting is because that's what I did. Do whatever you got to do with the Lord, right? Spend some time with him. Go back to that person. Tell them, explain the story, however it may be. Listen to how they say it, their mannerisms. They might start feeling sick too, depending on how much you really press into the Lord. Go with that feeling. Do not try to outsmart the Holy Spirit. The Spirit knows all. But I just had to say that. And that's how sneaky women are too, y'all. That's how sneaky this world is because these women are lying for her. Because they don't want nothing to do with her. They take her as a joke, says the Lord. They take that as something like play play. They don't take her serious. And this is the word period. Like there's men out there that will lie and be like, nah, man, I ain't sleep with your girl. Da, 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 just so they can keep doing it. They don't care about your relationship. Like, come on. And I kind of knew it deep down, but I'm like, nah, like why would every single last one say, no, we ain't do nothing. Cause they ain't care. They did not care about her, about the relationship. They don't care. I forgot to mention this part as well. The Lord was just dropping all types of tea. So, but this is some good spiritual tea so that the rest of y'all don't get burnt. Testimony time. So in the dream, he also showed her talking to me and we were talking about my man child. So in the dream, she was completely aware that I was the mother of the man child. And she was talking about being the man child's uncle. And I was like, God is not a God of confusion. This is the problem with the LGBT community. Why are you calling yourself somebody's uncle and you're a woman? And she was just hard pressed on it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm an uncle. Like I would want somebody to call me an uncle or I would want my future child to call me dad. That is confusion. Imagine being out in the world and look, God is not a God of confusion. Imagine being in the world and then somebody hears a child calling her an uncle or a dad or anything that is a male figure 
yo, that is confusion. And the Lord also said that the reason why is because she and others are insecure with themselves. They're very insecure. They do not accept their gender. They do not accept what God created them as. So that's it for this video. Y'all have a blessed day, week, month, and a year in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name.